Bourbon. found his older brother Josh and a bunch of Josh's friends hanging around chewing tobacco. One of Josh's friends spit his tobacco into a bowl. Yuck, Peter thought. It looks terrible. Want to try some? The boy asked smiling. Peter noticed that his teeth were stained brown. Not if my teeth are going to look ugly like yours, Peter thought. But he said, no thanks. I've got to go brush my teeth and do some homework. What would you say? <laughs> my dogs now. I let them off the leash and my dogs oh. run. Their house. Yeah. Is that a fan and clock? No, it's just a clock. Oh. It'd be cool though, if it was a fan. It would be cool. Or a clock. Cool you down. Flea markets present such a such a difficult series of decisions. Spoils of the day. It's a uh, black dog opera version of like, the Barbies. And the it's uh, a book with. What'd you pay for it? Discs. I paid uh, one hot dollar for it. So, where's this quiz? Uh, the quiz is over here. Right behind this. I'll be right over there. <laughs> we'll grade you. So I guess it's worth two fifty, right? Yep. Are you the authorizing signature? Yeah, I'm the authorizing signature right now. <laughs> so proud to be involved. <laughs> I don't own any, any Quaker related uh, clothing. You have a Jewish school shirt, right? Huh? No. no. I want to get in another one. But really? Yeah. Okay. You have $50. She just went to get changed. So. Thank you. Thank you. Get my Barbara's. All right, guys, come over here before you go anywhere. Want me to take Paige? No. <laughs> Everybody wants my baby. I'm holding her feet. <laughs> Sending good energy. She has good energy, doesn't Oh, yes. yes. So, I'm PRing for Monk Krishnaman. He's on. He's just about to embark on his second annual interfaith peace walk throughout the area. Now, this is a replica of the pagoda that he would like to see built. Now, uh, as you notice, there's <clears throat> six <laughs> of, uh, uh, representing six of the major religions, Native American included. Let me sure of that. Hindu, Buddhism, Muslim, Christian. How big would this pagoda be in real life? See that button wood over there? That one? Now, I'd say maybe. Even if it was a even if it was a third of that height, it would be still a phenomenal concept too. Yeah, and, and really, it's just hello. How are you? I'm, uh, am I selling the beautiful baby? No way. <laughs> Oh. 
So I called the state park and secured some camping ground, even though they told me there was nothing available. I mentioned Peace Walkers and Buddhist monk, this is Krishna monk, he's actually resting because he's in his 70s and um, he came from Manhattan this morning, no, Queens this morning, and he's got to be back there on the insistence of this uh, group that's having this big conference for four days, that he has to be back there this afternoon, much to my chagrin, but uh, I wanted him to stay and rest. So I'm, his, I'm his PR, but I'm, we're also family friends of his now. And I'm like, come on, you're gonna wear yourself out. And I know that, but so I told him just to rest. So he's kicking off this Peace Walk, the second annual. The first one was very successful, and he wants to see this pagoda built. I'm going to kick it off to the Unitarian Universalist and come through down here through Pennsylvania up to historic Dolington. And then another uh, woman who I haven't met yet but is hosting a whole thing on her property. And she's got uh, an acre and a half of land with a uh, pool and a jacuzzi and these nets that you can sleep on. Yeah, outside and camping and where you can camp and rest. And then they're vegetarian. Um, so she will have plenty of food and um, breakfast, pancakes, breakfast the next day. <laughs> you want to do a little documentary on Krishnamon yeah. uh, sometime in the future? Yeah, I'd love to. The closing is going to be on the 8th of October at a meditation center here in um, Lower Bucks, uh, on Oxford Valley Road okay. at the Khalsa Meditation uh, Center. They used to be here in, in, Yard, in the center of the borough of Yardley. But the ambassador of Nepal is going to be there. It's going to be potluck. There's going to be musicians, meditation, and you know a lot of festivities. Some yoga. That'll, that'll be at one o'clock. Yoga on the side, maybe. Oh, definitely. What an ugly baby. Oh, I think it's a cute baby. This one. No, that one's a little ugly. Baby. Bobby is not quite six months old here. He doesn't show his pretty brown eyes very well. He sure has pretty eyes. Oh, you cute little guy.
kept getting tossed on the floor. And They're terrifyingly realistic. Bite into capsule and let blood ooze from mouth. It looks and flows like real blood. It has a delicious cherry flavor. <laughs> He plays the piano and the guitar. I did at one point in my life. You still do. From time to time. Don't be modest. Would you like to play guitar? Uh, when is this going to be? Sunday the 18th. Sunday is some kind of Sorry, I'm the editor of the school newspaper. That's one of our The signal? Yeah. Oh, I, gradu wow. I graduated in 79. Oh, really? I was headed, I ran TSR. Oh, cool. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Where it's are you great Sunday? Great school. Uh, the College of New Jersey. Uh-huh. So I go to school. I'm the editor of their paper. Trenton State, the old guys. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, yes. And uh, how about at, at noontime? Are you available? Noon time. I'm usually down in the office with all day on Sunday. Well, then uh, maybe you can help out networking since you're so involved with the College of New Jersey. Uh, yeah, maybe. A little I mean, you have my information on there. Yes, I do. Tell yeah. me your first name again. Matt. Enjoy. There's a lot of names on that list now. So I have to oh, good, them. good. Thank you. Here, somebody has my information. Uh -huh. They would call me during the election, like making sure that I was in the vote. I'm like, thank you. Sparkler, sparkler, sparkler. <laughs> what they have, man? What? What do they have? Sparklers. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Shut up.